Ask anyone if they train hard enough and they will inevitably tell you that they absolutely do. No one ever wants to admit that they just go through the motions or have long spans of lackluster workouts. We all have just enough pride not to reveal that at times we go through phases of unmotivated training. Whether it's life stresses, lack of time, or just plain burnout, no one is immune. Here are six direct and indirect reasons you may not be training hard enough. Number one, you're not getting stronger. Whether your goal is purely to get stronger or to build the body of your dreams, strength will always be a part of the weight training world. You may not be the strongest in the gym or make monumental strides on a weekly basis, but the fact remains that you will need to monitor your strength levels in order to progress. If you find that most of your weekly workouts are a chore or that your strength levels aren't even budging after months of consistent training, you may not be applying enough intensity to your training. Progressive overload, which is to apply enough resistance to the muscle to elicit changes in strength and size, requires intensity. Even the simplest and smallest of strength training progressions will result in some very beneficial and long-term effects. An article from the Mayo Clinic stated a myriad of long-term benefits from strength training such as stronger bones, weight management, enhanced quality of life, management of chronic conditions, and even the sharpening of thinking skills. If you find yourself in this lackluster state of progress, take a day or two off from the gym, reassess your training program, and then start from the beginning. Maybe you need to simplify things by taking out the fluff in your program, or maybe you just need to recommit yourself to your plan and turn up the intensity. Whatever the reason, something needs to change. Number two, you're losing motivation. Normally when you're training with enough intensity, you find yourself wanting to go back to the gym the very next day and hammer it away again. That drive cultivates more intensity as the cycle continues. If you lack intensity, it's most likely you lack motivation. Who wants to go to the gym and put in an hour of work when they don't feel like it in the first place? A loss of motivation is a clear sign you're not putting in the work. You're not applying that all too important level of intensity in order to move the needle of progress. Again, take a moment and reevaluate your situation. What's making you stall and unable to turn up the intensity? What's missing that's preventing you from pushing forward? Set a new goal. Maybe it's an important date like a vacation, wedding, or event. Whatever the situation, get your motivation in order, and then intensity will follow. Number three, you've lost your appetite. Coupled with any successful training program is a consistent and thorough eating plan to support it. Without proper nutrition, any workout program won't achieve its full potential. You'll be left spinning your wheels and running in circles. One telltale sign you're not training hard enough is a drop or loss in appetite. Hard, intense training will spur hunger. As your body repairs and grows new muscle, it will crave carbs, protein, and calories. Its metabolism will be jacked and in need of fuel, not only for repair, but also for your next intense workout. If you're finding your appetite wavering, you might not be putting in an honest workout each day. Another aspect to consider is if your diet is affecting your intensity. If you're sitting around and eating fast food or junk food and expect to get to the gym and kill it, then you're sadly mistaken. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition compared food intake between a low-intensity exercise and a high-intensity exercise group and found that the high-intensity group's food intake was higher. This means that the more intensity you apply to your training, the higher your food intake will be to support those workouts. Number four, you're too distracted. Are you the type who goes to the gym to catch up with friends? Are you more interested in who's there, flirting with girls, or just using gym time to unwind and space out? While a little of this behavior is all fine and dandy, excessively wasting time conversing about the game last night will only detract you from your ultimate goal. Applying optimal intensity will be nearly impossible if you're constantly distracted, busy scrolling through your phone, or staring at one of the many TVs in the weight room. Begin and end with focus. Develop the habit of keeping a training journal. Write down all of your exercises, sets, weights, and reps. Review it every day before training to give you that extra hit of motivation and focus you'll need to jack up your intensity and start having those consistent hard training workouts needed to progress. And then review your journal after training to determine if you need to adjust things or remove certain exercises. Saying hello, greeting friends, and having a short chat are all perfectly fine when it comes to gym etiquette and just being plain nice. You don't need to be that guy who puts on his headphones and proceeds to give the weights the death stare as if you're going to war. Be friendly, but go in with purpose. Number five, you lack variation. One of the tried and true facts of life is the notion that everything worth having takes getting outside of your comfort zones. Whether it's the good pain of training or the uncomfortable awkwardness of asking someone on a date, if we stay comfortable long enough, we'll never move forward and improve. Our efforts in the gym are no different. Complacency is a double-edged sword. 
On one hand, it can be a positive ally in the fact that it can provide a sense of belonging and comfort to be ourselves and do our best. On the other hand, it can be the Achilles heel to our success. Too much complacency can deter us from reaching just beyond our limits to be challenged and shoved outside of the warm and cozy. If our training falls into this negative trap, we'll never change things. We'll be stuck on the proverbial merry-go-round. Still not convinced? A recent ACE article cited exercise scientists from the University of Florida who concluded that adding variety to the training program can improve adherence. They observed that individuals who modified their workouts every two weeks over an eight-week period appeared to enjoy their workouts more and were more inclined to stick with their exercise programs when compared to individuals who followed the same exercise regimens week after week. On the subject of actual hard evidence, a study from the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research decided to put varied exercises to the test. They took 49 individuals, split them into five groups, constant intensity and constant exercise, constant intensity and varied exercise, varied intensity and constant exercise, varied intensity and varied exercise, and a control group. After 12 weeks, their strength was assessed and the constant intensity and varied exercise group increased their strength markers significantly more than all the other groups. If you're too comfortable and not making progress, vary your exercises and turn up the intensity. Number six, you're always program hopping. Switching things up is a great way to add variety and to keep things interesting so you'll maintain motivation and subsequently add in plenty of intensity. But if you're changing training programs too often, you'll never have enough time to apply that intensity because you'll constantly be reestablishing a new routine. If you're always looking for the magic bullet or ultimate secret to building muscle and strength, then when will you ever have time to climb the ladder of progress? Stick to your plan. It's easy to find a sensible program online. The trick is to stick with it long enough to fairly assess if it's worth keeping, modifying, or discarding. You won't find out in a week or two weeks time. Give any program a solid two or three months. Consistency, intensity, and a progressive mindset will get you further than program hopping. If you find that you're lacking training intensity, these six signs that you're not training hard enough is a good start. Don't shortchange yourself. Spend your time wisely in the gym and watch those numbers and your shirt sizes go up. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a thumbs up as it'll truly help out the channel. Are you looking for a complete, done-for-you training and nutrition guide guaranteed to add slabs of muscle to your frame in the next 90 days? Claim your free copy of our book, Bulk Up Fast. The book has already been paid for. All you have to do is cover the small shipping fee. Just click the link in the description, tell us where to ship it, and we'll send it to you anywhere in the world. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.